professor? Yes. In the bottom equation for d of j omega? Yeah, um, in the square root, should that first part oh, be Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry here. This is a square root. That's a good catch. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so here I missed the square, so add it up here. And if someone uh, wake up just for this moment and add this number to you, it happened before, they missed it, and then they I can listen you with it and say, this is a note. I said, oh, you forgot that note. It's not happened before. <clears throat> so now with this one, we're going to do it is this. I'm going to tabulate uh, into a three by three big matrix. And so this is an input. OK. And uh, this is the uh, descriptions. For input, uh, that is our force. And right now, we're back to our fundamental, the, the uh, graphic diagrams for the transfer functions. I simply want to tabulate the all the information here. So for the input, we have is from our force. So that has the magnitude. So basically, the description is 100 E times J omega T. OK. so. So that's the general descriptions. And here I want to further classify the information in terms of the magnitude and in terms of the phase angle. So for the input, we have a magnitude equal to 100. And again, this is a phase angle that's the omega t. Right? So here the description is this. We have any complex representation m times e j theta. So m is our magnitude, and theta is our angle. So keep this in mind. That is our uh, definitions from derived from the complex algebra. Okay. So this is input. Then transfer functions, which means g j omega. Okay. So for transfer functions, we have attempt is this one. So uh, the transfer function, basically, if you like, you can write it up original like this, uh, 25 minus uh, 150 omega squared plus J2000 omega. Okay, that is the original description here. So the magnitude will be equal to this one we obtain. We can copy it. So that is 1, um, 25 minus. OK, sorry for. The face angle is uh, the minus the omega. OK, so. Again, this uh, after operation, this is minus here. Okay. And we can copy that information to here. Do you have any questions why here we have a minus? Because our our numerator have a face angle zero, and denominator have a face angle that much. When we divide two numbers, and their face angle simply subtract. So zero face angle minus v and give us minus this one. Be good. Okay. And then this is our output. So again, um, output, we follow up this one. Output equal to transfer functions multiplied with input. And right now, the input is a complex number. Transfer function is a complex number. So we know that for um, 
multiplication of two complex numbers is such that their magnitude multiply to each other. So that means, let me say this is the mi, and this is called the mg. So basically output is equal to mi multiplied with mg. Okay, so let me just do this one. So mo equal to input of the magnitude, magnitude of the input multiplied with the magnitude of the mg. Okay, and phase angle output equal to, again, uh, if we multiply two numbers, the phase angle simply uh, add it up together. So that is the theta of the input plus theta of the transfer functions. So basically this one is omega t minus v omega. Okay, and this one simply equal to 100 and divide by, you copy that information in here, okay? You good? So right now we have the output. The output has a magnitude, MO, and output has a phase angle, so we simply put it into here. So in this way, the output equal to 100 and again, you copy that information from the square root and times e, j, omega t minus v, and uh, omega. So this is our steady state response. That is our result. So two big steps, okay? In the previous step, we get ourselves ready to calculate uh, about the transfer function itself. The second big step is to work on the flow of this information from out from input through transfer function to output like this. This one need a uh, quite a bit, a little bit more, uh, quite a bit exercise to solidate the concept. I know this concept is new to many of you. And uh, but this is pretty powerful. The whole information behind is to uh, translate the time derivative information into everything into the algebra, and to utilize the algebraic operations, we simply borrow the uh, complex algebra for that purpose. <coughs> Okay, good.